think it's on. I think it's on. <sighs> Hello, everybody. This is, uh, it's quite the election that we have, right? So <laughs> let's, let's, let's all just take a breath. I'm over here, I was in the middle of studying, and then I saw the results of Oregon and drugs, and I was like, okay, screw it. I live in Oregon, I'm a Portlander here. Portland, Oregon. I was like, I gotta talk about this. So, for those of you who do not know, Oregon decided to become the first state to decriminalize small amounts of what they consider to be like street drugs. So you got your like heroines and you got your meths and you got your, uh, what else did they say? Cocaine. They didn't specify how much this stuff you can have on you, but you can have a certain amount, right? You can't have like, you know, but a kilo on you, but you can have something. Now decriminalization is not the same thing as legalization. So what's my opinion? Right off the bat, right off the get go. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. And I have reasons to think that. First, Fox News, yes. <laughs> yes, Fox News actually came out several years back and said, look, we spent over a trillion dollars. I believe technically it was $1.5 trillion on the war on drugs. And we have yielded no, no long-term benefits as a result of the war on drugs. So what does that mean? Okay, well, that means that when you're dealing with addiction, you're dealing with crime, emphasizing the crime aspect has not been beneficial from the 1970s all the way up until this point. So uh, maybe this time we should emphasize addiction instead. So decriminalization is not the same thing as legalization. I already said that. Let's kind of circle back around to that. What do I mean by that? Well, that means that you can have it on you, but you're not going to go to prison, but you can't sell it. That's the caveat. You can't sell it. That's a big difference. Now, Oregon also just legalized psilocybin, so magic mushrooms. The idea is that it could also be used for, say, veterans with therapy because that's been proven to be beneficial. And as everybody knows, we already have the legalization of marijuana. So we're kind of pushing that boundary. So has any country done that up to this point? You know, the legalization and the increased decriminalization, that kind of tactic. Well, yeah, Portugal legalized drugs. And uh, funny story, they actually decreased the amount of addiction with hard drugs. I mean, that's pretty interesting, right? It's not even just Portugal, it's a handful of other countries as well. I'm not gonna try to name them for you because my brain is fried and even more crazy than my hair at the moment, but I think you get the point. This is probably a step in the right direction. Something else I think that is a little interesting about the situation is let's talk about the drug cartels. Because everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people are having problems with certain sects of the population, illegal, Im illegal immigrants, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, coming up from the South all the way up into the United States. Well, one reason they do that is because they're escaping war. Where is the war created? It's created from the drug cartels. How do drug cartels get in power? Well, they capitalize on a section of the market that's not utilized by the average population. So in this case, drugs, they corner the market, they use that to finance their criminal endeavors. So with the increase in legalization or even getting farther onto that path, which in this case is, is uh, decriminalization, you're taking the power away from them. I know with marijuana industries in Oregon, we were able to use that for a little bit better causes. Ironically, it was used with the, the, the police force that turned around and cracked down on drugs, but you get my point, right? You're taking power away from those organizations. You're able to place it back into people. You're dealing with addiction in a little bit better ways. Food for thought, food for thought. I think if we're gonna do this in any state, Oregon would probably, well, Portland, excuse me, yeah, Oregon, <laughs> Jesus. Oregon would be a good step. Portland has already got so many things going on. I think we can all agree Portland would be the best little guinea pig to try this out, right? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. So let me know. Let me know what you think. That's my personal opinion. But we'll see. Anyway. Yes. <laughs>